Hello guys and welcome to So Me Yoga, part three, third video of the series that we're doing. So everyone just come to me in a comfortable seated position. Shoulders away from the ears, spine nice and long. And just close your eyes, hands on the knees, and start to tap into that breath. Deepening the inhale, and lengthening the exhale. And today we're going to focus a lot on slowing down the breath. So in your times of stress, you see that just flexing and making the breath conscious, you can slow it down. And by doing that, you slow down the heart rate, and the body relaxes, allowing you to recover faster, to get deeper into a pose, just to have clarity and peace of mind. And this not only applies to yoga, but in real life too. So take one more deep breath in. And open the mouth and side out. Drop the chin to the chest and look down. And look up. Chin to the sky. And then chin to the chest, lengthening through the back of the neck. Back up. And down. Bring the chin to the right shoulder. And then drop it down and around to the left shoulder. Down and around to the right shoulder. Down and around to the left shoulder. Down and around to the right shoulder. And down and around to the left shoulder. Bring the left arm right up in front of you. Grab the right arm, stick it out to the side. Sweep it underneath the left arm. This is fine, or if you want, you can double wrap it for an eagle pose, but if not, this is okay. And just inhale, stretch up. Lift the elbows up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the elbows down towards the floor, rounding through the back. Inhale, back up. Bring the elbows as high as possible. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Release the arms. Bring the right hand on top. Left arm goes on the knee. Either wrap it or just keep it like this. Whichever one's fine. Just make sure you're really moving through the elbows. Inhale. Exhale, round the back, elbows down. Inhale. Exhale. Tapping into that breath. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands to the floor. Right hand comes onto the side of you, bend that elbow a little bit. Lift the left arm up into the sky, reaching up and over, gazing towards that left palm. Breathing deep, take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center. Switch sides. Bend that left elbow a little bit, reach up and over. Through that right side, lengthening through the whole right side body. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale, come back up. And release. Bring the hands together like this, interlace the fingers, and just start to make little circles, warming up the wrists. Just moving back and forth. Maybe the circle starts to get a little bit bigger. Really warming up the wrist today. And then release. Roll onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position. Knees are underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. 
We're going to start with the neutral spine. So make sure the spine is elongated, so lengthening from the sacrum, the tailbone, all the way to the crown of the head. <coughs> On your next inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, look up, cow pose. Lengthening through the whole front side of the body. Exhale, push down like you're a scared cat, and you're rounding through your shoulder blades. Inhale, arch the back, look up, lengthen through the front body. Exhale, down. And just start to go back and forth, connecting the breath to the movement. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Come back to a neutral spine position. Inhale, the right arm up, left leg shoot straight back. Lengthen all the way. Then you try to make as much space in between that left heel and the right fingertips. As much as possible. Breathe here. For five. Four. See if every inhale you can lengthen a little bit more. Three. Two. And one on your next inhale, lengthen even more. And then exhale, round through the back, bring the right elbow to the left knee. Squeeze, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round through the back and squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round through the back and squeeze. And release the hand down. Move around for a second. Find your bearings, really claw into the floor with that right hand. Inhale, the left arm up, right leg shoots straight back. For five. Four. Keeping that balance. Three. Every inhale, try to lengthen from those fingertips to that heel even more. Two, and one on your next inhale, lengthen even more, exhale, bring the left elbow to the right knee, round through the back, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round, squeezing the abs, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round, release the hands to the floor, Point the fingers out to either side, so the thumbs are facing forward. With the arms straight, just touch the knee side to side. Stretching out the wrists once again. And then that face the fingers to the back of the mat. And just sit back onto those heels as much as you can, getting a super deep stretch in the wrist and form. Breathing deep. And then come back up to the knees. Now we're going to tuck the toes, lift the hips, and come up into a downward dog. And for a lot of us, if this is your first time moving today, you might be a little bit stiff, so start pedaling out the heels. You can bend the knees as much as you need to, but really just try to have a straight line going from the hips to the shoulders to the hands. Engage through the hands, pressing down through the fingertips, clawing into the back. And feel when you engage the fingertips, how that starts to fire up your forearms. And then from your forearms, you feel your biceps and triceps start to engage, and from there, your shoulders. Wrap the triceps externally, so wrap them underneath you, kind of like you're trying to turn the armpits towards each other. Look at the wall behind you or at your belly button, and really start to pedal one heel to the ground at a time. 
Releasing the tailbone up into the sky. Make sure the back of the neck is long. And then come to a relatively still position. Just find that stillness. And maybe if the breath is starting to speed up, see if you can start to slow it down. Controlling it. Keeping an equal inhale, equal exhale. Remember to push down strong through those fingertips. On your next inhale, round forward through the back and come to a high plank. Lower down really slow. All the way to a low push-up. And then inhale, upward dog. Keeping the toes tucked under. Now lifting from the belly, use your abs to engage and come back to the plank. Drop the hips once again, upward dog. Open up the chest. Try to engage those shoulders, pull them back to open up the chest even more, lengthening through the spine. Push down through those hands. Come back to the plank. Once again, drop the hips down. Your toes are still tucked under. Really try to push down through those hands to lengthen through the spine. Opening up the chest. See if your shoulders are near your ears. See if you can slide them down the back a little bit. And then come back to the downward dog. Now slowly walk the feet forward. One foot at a time, feeling the stretch until they're just about the front of the mat. You're in a forward fold. Grab opposite elbows and just lay yourself a rag ball here. Move side to side, shake your head up. See if you can shift your weight forward into the toes a little bit. To the point where you feel you're going to fall over and then that's the line. Once you find that line, just stay right behind it. Engaging through the quads to lengthen the hamstrings even more. And then, and then release the arms. Inhale, flat back. So lengthening the spine. Exhale, fall forward. Crown the head to the floor. Inhale, come all the way up with the arm up overhead, gazing at the thumbs. Exhale, hands down to a prayer position for the moment. Release the hands by the side, palms facing forward. Step the feet together in front of the mat. And we're going to start with some sun salutations. So on your next inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, leading with the chest. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step or hop back to a high plank. Lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. For five. Four. Three. Two, and one, bend the knees up between the hands, step or hop forward, here in a forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, fall forward, inhale, come all the way up, two more like that, exhale, let the hands fall down, inhale, arms up, gazing at the thumbs, exhale, fall forward, forward fold, inhale, flat back, Exhale, plant the hands down, step or hop back to the plank. Lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in tight. Inhale, upward dog. Opening up the chest. Trying to broaden the collarbones and lifting up through the spine. Exhale, downward dog. Wrapping the triceps underneath you, sending the hips up into the sky. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Just really try to engage into those fingertips, try to make one straight line from the wrists to the hips. For five. Four. 
Control the breath, slow it down. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees up between the hands. Step or hop in between the hands. Inhale, flat back. Utikita Utanasana. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Ball in the hands. Exhale, arms down to the side. One more. Inhale, arms up. Gazing at the thumbs. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, pen the hands down. Step or hop to the plank. Lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in tight. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down. Breathing deep. For five. Four. Three, slow down the breath. Make sure the back of the neck is long. Two, engage with the fingers, activating the arms. And one, bend the knees up between the hands. Step hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, arms down to the sides. Set the feet close together once again. Palms facing forward. Close your eyes. Just take a deep breath. Feeling up the belly all the way. And then let it go. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, leading with the chest. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Right knee comes onto the floor. Untuck that right toe. Inhale, arms up. Andrinasana. Pushing into that right hip. Exhale, bring the hands down on either side of the foot. Send that left leg up and back. Inhale, shift forward. Come to the plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Left knee comes onto the floor. Inhale, both arms up. Gazing towards the thumb, pushing that left hip forward. Exhale, frame the foot, set the left foot to meet the right, steer so forward then. Inhale, come up, chair pose. Bend the knees, looking towards the thumbs. Tuck the tailbone in, squeeze the abs. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, set the left leg back, left knee comes off to the floor. Inhale, arms up. Gazing towards the thumbs. Exhale, hands down on either side of the foot. Send that right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Inhale, shift forward to a plank. You can either keep the leg up or bring it down to a regular plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Keeping the elbows tucked in tight to open up the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Right knee comes down. Inhale, arms up into the sky. Pushing the right hip forward now. Exhale, hands down. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Gazing up towards the thumb, squeezing those palms together. Tuck the tailbone and squeeze the abs. It should be a the lengthening in the side body as you squeeze the palms together, gazing towards those thumbs. And exhale, mountain pose. The front of the mat, standing up straight, feet together, palms facing forward. Three. One more round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back, right knee comes down. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, spray the foot, send that left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Left knee comes down. Inhale, arms up. Push that left hip forward. Exhale, bring both the hands. Send that left leg forward to meet the right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up. Pressing the palms together. Upadasa on the chair pose. Lengthening through the sides of the body, really squeezing the palms together, gazing up towards the thumbs. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the left leg back, left knee comes down. Untuck the toe. Inhale, come up, Adhanayanasana. Push the left hip forward. Exhale, hands come down, bring that right leg, send it back. Three legged dog. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, forward. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Right knee comes down. Inhale, arms up. Gazing up towards the thumbs. Exhale, hands down. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, Upadasana right away. Squeezing the palms together. Bend those knees. Squeeze the abs. Tuck the tailbone in. So you can get a little bit lower. Gazing up towards the thumbs. Make sure you can see your toes. If you look down and you can't shift your weight back a little bit. And exhale. From the standing position. Now arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Step the feet out so they're about hip distance apart. Grab onto your big toes. If you can't grab onto your big toes, grab onto your ankles. Inhale, flat back. Really lengthening through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Open up the arm bones. Pull the crown of the head into the floor. For five. A super deep forward fold. Four. Chin to chest, crown of the head reaching towards the floor. Three. See what happens if you shift your weight forward into the toes. Open the arm bones a little bit more. Two. And one. Inhale, flat back. Tuck the hands underneath the feet. So the goal is to get your toes to touch your wrists. As far as you can go is as far as you can go. Wherever you are is exactly where you need to be. So tuck those hands underneath for gorilla pose. See what happens when you shift the weight forward. Feel that stretch in the wrists. Breathing deep, let the head hang heavy. And see if you're holding any tension in the forehead and the mouth and just let it go. And release your hands, inhale, flat back. Exhale, release the hands to the floor, step or hop back to a plank, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bring the knees to the floor, open them nice and wide, almost to the width of the mat. Bring the big toes to, stuck, to touch and sit back on the heels. Press them into the hands for child's pose. Breathe deep here for about five deep breaths. And maybe to take this time here to set your intention for the practice. So whether it be to let something go or to practice radical acceptance. And radical acceptance is just accepting everything for how it is in this moment. So no matter where you are, you can't get fully into a pose, or if you're feeling your hamstrings are very tight today, just accept it. Because that's exactly where you are today, and that's exactly where you need to be. Staying in child's pose, keep breathing deep. Feeling the inhale, lift up the lower back. Sending that weight back into the heels, pushing down through those fingertips. And breathing deep.
On your next inhale, claw yourself up. Then come to a plank. Now we're gonna hold it here. Now everyone that's in plank, just try to lift up through the shoulder blades. So make as much space in between the shoulder blades as you can. So engage your shoulder, push down strong through those hands. And now start to shift your weight forward until the shoulders are over the hands. And now we're gonna lower down, keeping the elbows tucked into the sides. So really engaging the triceps here. And then untuck the feet, lower the hips down, and now come up to a cobra. So the hips and everything below the hips are still on the floor. Pressing down through your hands, but at the same time, activating all your back muscles to open up your chest even more. Look up and back. And then tuck the toes under, lift up to a downward dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it in between the hands, drop that left heel onto the floor. Inhale, come up with warrior one. Hips are square to the front of the mat. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Back leg is straight and strong. Right knee is bent, tracing over that front big toe. Arms up, gazing towards those thumbs. Breathing deep. Every inhale, see if you can lengthen a little bit more. And every exhale, see if you can get a little bit deeper into that front leg. Pushing down strong into the outside of that left foot. And then on your next inhale, open up to warrior two. So now the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Arms going straight across, broaden through the collarbones like you're shooting out energy through the fingertips. Gazing over that right middle finger. Engaging the abs, keep yourself upright, shoulders over the hips. Breathing deep. And then flip that front palm, reach forward, and then reach up and back, reverse it for peaceful warrior. Gazing up and towards that right hand. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, come back up. Warrior two, gazing over that right middle finger. And then start to roll forward, cartwheeling that right hand down onto the floor, or right elbow onto the knee for side angle. Wherever you are, gazing up and towards that left hand and still pressing into the outside of that left foot. So you engage the thighs. Make sure you're pressing down through every part of that front foot. And then on your next inhale, come up slowly, very controlled. Cartwheel the arms down to the floor. Send that right leg up and back. And then shift forward to a three-legged plank. Hold it here. And then lower down slowly. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a deep breath in here. Open your mouth and side out. Inhale, the left leg up into the sky. Exhale, step it through. Right heel comes down onto the floor. Inhale, come up. Try to get those palms together, pressing into the outside of that right foot. Right foot is at a 45 degree angle, front foot is facing forward. Warrior one on the left side. Push into the outside of that right foot. Gazing up towards the hands. Feel that whole right side of the body expanding. Squaring the hips to the front of the mat. And then on your next inhale, open up to warrior two. So now back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Front, front knee is going directly over those front toes, front foot facing forward. And press into the outside of that back foot. Arms pointing straight out to the side, broaden through the collarbones and look over that left middle finger. 
Breathing deep. Again, see if you can control the breath. So if the breath starts to speed up, slow it down, deepen. On your next inhale, flip that front palm, reach forward and then reverse the back. Peace forward. Gazing up and towards that left palm. And now come back up to Warrior 2. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring that left hand down to the floor, left elbow to the knee, right hand to the sky. Gazing up towards that right hand. Side angle. And you next did now slowly come up with control. Arm back to warrior two. And then carry it down and your next exhale, send that left leg up and back. Three-legged dog, inhale, shift forward, three-legged plank. And then lower down slowly, keeping the elbows tucked in, untuck the feet. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Open the knees up, bring the toes together, take a child's pose. Reconnect to that intention. Accepting everything as it is. And just embracing this moment fully. Inhale, come up. Tabletop, tuck the feet, lift the hips, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Left knee comes down. And now we're just going to bring the hands on top of that right knee. And now, shift forward into those hips and start to push your chest back and open. But at the same time, pushing that left hip forward to really feel a deep stretch in your soles right here. Look up and back. Use those hands to push that knee away from you, opening up the chest to the sky. Really push that left hip forward, right hip back. And then release the hands, plant the hands down. Send that left, the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog, shift forward to the plank. Three-legged plank, if you're feeling like challenging yourself, lower down slowly. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through. Right knee comes down. Place the hands on that left knee. Push that right hip forward, left hip back, and really push into those hands to send your chest back and away from you. And at the same time, pushing that right hip forward. Breathing really deep here. A nice and controlled breath. Feel your hips opening up. The hips are one of the major joints in the body that hold a lot of stored emotions. Pushing your chest up and back and away from you. And then release the hands down, step that left leg back to three legs down. Inhale, shift forward to a three legged plank, lower down, upward dog, and downward dog. Inhale that right leg, step it through. Inhale, come up to high lunge. Right away, we're going to open the left hand forward, right arm back. You should really feel a twist in that left hip. And just try to rotate through the spine, looking back and towards that right hand. If this feels good, maybe bring that right hand down to the left leg, lift that left arm up. Lengthening through the entire left side of the body. Bending strong to that right knee. And then carve that left hand down, sweep 
the right hand down. We're going to sweep it right back up for a simple twist. You can stay here or put that back knee down if this is too much for you. But wherever you are, push down strong through that left hand. Gazing up and towards that right hand, almost like you're about to fall back on over to it. So getting a deep, deep back foot. A nice twist for the immune system, for the digestion, massaging the internal organs. And bring that right hand down, straighten that right leg so we're in a pyramid pose. Both feet are facing forward, hips squared forward. Inhale, bend into that front knee, look up. You can bring that knee down to the floor, or keep it up, whichever is fine. Exhale, straighten that leg, keep that back heel off the floor of the sun. Inhale, come up, low lunge. Exhale, straighten, modified pyramid. Keeping that back heel up and off the floor. Really push into the front toes. Engage that leg, straighten both legs as much as you can. Inhale, flat back, lift up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fall forward, try to bring the chin to the shin. On your next inhale, shift forward to a low lunge. Send that right leg up and back with three-legged dog. Shift forward to a plank and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down. Right away, inhale that left leg up, step it through. Inhale, come up, high lunge on the left side. Send that right hand forward, left hand back, gazing towards that left hand. Really working on opening up these hips today. Breathe strong, engaging through both legs. Send that left arm back into the right leg, reaching the right arm up. Lengthening all the way through the right side body. Every inhale, feel yourself expand a little bit more. And then cartwheel that right arm down, but sweep the left arm now. Sweep the right back arm up for a simple twist. Right knee can come onto the floor or keep it up. But wherever you are, push down strong through that right hand and gaze up towards that left hand. And then start to open up the back. Breathing deep. Bring that right, the left hand down, bend into that front knee, and then straighten that leg. Bringing the back heel onto the floor now for a pyramid pose. Breathe in deep. And then on your next inhale, shift forward to a low lunge. Either the knee stays on the floor or you can keep it up. And then exhale to the pyramid, keeping the back heel lifted now. Push down strong into the front toes. Breathing deep and just surrender. Inhale, lengthen. Look up, open up that chest, low lunge. And exhale, deep as pyramid yet. Keeping that right back heel off the floor. It feels good for you. And now inhale, flat back, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fall forward, bring the chin to the shin. Getting even deeper now. Breathing deep. Both feet are facing forward. Hips are squared to the front of the mat. And then on your next inhale, shift forward, 
Exhale, send that left leg up and back to three-legged dog. Shift forward to a high plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Drop the knees to two inches above the floor. Look between the hands. Step or hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, arms down to the side. Step out and open to the left side of the mat. Put the hands on the hips. Engage the legs. Squeeze the legs together. Imagine you're trying to bunch up the mat together with your legs. Inhale, open up the chest. And exhale, fall forward. Leading with the chest, keeping the hands on the hips. Elbows squeezing together to open up the chest. Reaching the crown of the head towards the floor. See if you can shift your weight forward into the toes, activating the legs even more. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fall. And then inhale, come all the way up, standing. Release the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, or grab opposite elbows, up to you. Draw those hands down to pull the shoulders away from the head. Inhale, and exhale, fold forward, leading with the chest, crown of the head to the floor. Keeping the chin to chest, again, see if you can shift the weight forward into the toes. And then inhale, come up, leading with the hands, opening up the chest once again. Last one, put the hands on the hips, inhale, open the heart. And exhale, fall forward, leading with the chest. Grab onto the big toes with your hands or onto your ankles. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, shift the weight forward into your toes. And exhale, chin to chest, draw the crown of the head towards the floor. Open up the arm bones to pull your crown of the head into the floor. Relax the shoulders down and back. Breathing deep. Remember to control that breath. Inhale, flat back, exhale, hands to waist, and inhale, come all the way up, step back to the front of the mat. Inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, plant the hands down, step or pop it back to high plank, lower it down. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back, exhale, step it on the outside of that right hand. For a super deep lizard lunge, you can either keep the left knee down or up, up to you and just start moving little circles here. In one direction and then the other direction. And then now drop that back knee onto the floor if it's not already there. Push that right hip out to the side with the right hand gazing behind you. Super deep hip opener. Let that right foot roll out to the right side. Pushing the knee out to the side, opening up the chest. Maybe you bend that back leg, grab hold of that back leg, or stay wherever you are. Steady and comfortable. Push into that foot to open the chest even more. And then slowly release, bring the hand back down to the floor. Walk the foot to about in the middle of the mat. And then start to shift your weight back for a half split. Relaxing that front toe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, bring the chin to chest. Rounding through the spine. Breathing deep.
One more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. And then slowly come out of it, shifting the weight back to the front foot. Send that right foot up and back. Inhale, shift forward, three-legged dog, lower down. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right away, inhale that left leg up. Bring it up to the outside of that left hand. Lizard lunge. Back knee can stay off the floor or on, on the floor. And just start making little circles here. Keeping that left knee to the left shoulder. Switch directions. And then drop that right knee down if you haven't already. Push that left knee out to the side using that left hand to open up your chest. Breathing deep for a nice twist and hip opener. Maybe you grab that back leg now, pushing into that foot to open up the chest even more. The galaxy pose. But wherever you are, don't lose that integrity in the right shoulder, so don't let it sag down. Push down strong through that right hand. And then slowly release. Walk that foot into the middle of the mat, and then start to shift your weight back. Flexing that left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round through the back. Pull forward over that foot for a half split. Go wherever feels comfortable for you. Breathing deep. more time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold forward. Slowly come back up, walk the hands back to front, send that left leg up and back, shift forward for a high plank, lower down, inhale, upward hug, exhale down. Bring the left foot to the middle of the mat, inhale the right leg up, three legged dog, exhale, bring it to the right. Inhale, three legged dog, exhale, left elbow, twist the body. Inhale, back up, exhale, bring it to the nose. Inhale, back up, open up the hips, stack the right hip on top of the left, and then flip it over for a wild thing. So, Left leg stays extended, right leg stays bent. Look up and back towards that right hand. You should feel the extension all the way from that right knee to the right fingertips. On your next exhale, look down, plant that right hand down, keeping that right leg up, send it to the top left corner of the mat, open up, shooting start. Gazing up and towards that left hand, And then bring the left hand down, trace that foot across. So the right knee is right behind that right wrist. The right ankle is behind the left wrist. Start to walk that leg back a little bit more so the top of the thigh is on the floor. Inhale, open up the chest. Untuck that back foot and exhale, fold forward. Keep that right foot flexed strong, protect the knee. And just relax. After all these hip openers, a nice little restorative pigeon pose. The more you surrender to the upper body, the more of a stretch you get. Walk your hands out in front of you, press into those fingertips as hard as you can. And then just start to take notice of everything that's making contact with the ground. And see if you can press everything that's making contact with the ground into the ground even more to engage your body. Keep flexing that right foot to protect the knee. 
and just let your forehead rest on the mat. And then see what happens if you surrender. Just surrender to the posture no matter where you are, just accept it and breathe. Slowing down the breath. Slowly walk the hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale up, opening up the chest. Pushing that left hip down to the floor. Tuck those back toes under, give it a couple pumps up and down with the knee, and then send that right leg back. Lower down for the chaturanga. Inhale up, dog. Exhale down. Inhale the left leg up, exhale bring it to the left arm. Inhale it back up, exhale bring it to the right arm. Inhale it back up, exhale bring it to the nose, squeeze. And inhale back up, open up the hips, stack the left hip on top of the right. Once it's open, bring that left foot down, extend that right leg, look up and towards that left hip. So now you should feel the extension all the way from that left knee to the left fingertips. Reaching long, try to elongate as much as possible. See if you can roll that left shoulder down to open up the heart to the sky even more. Breathing deep. Remember, control the breath. Look down towards the hand. Inhale the leg back up without bringing it to the floor. And then Send it to the top right corner of the mat, shoot your start. Twist yourself open to the right. Lengthening from the right fingertips to the outside of that right foot. And then start to swing yourself open. Opening up the chest to the sky. And then bring that hand down. Slowly inch that leg across, bringing the left knee behind that left wrist. Relax that front foot. So keeping that left foot flexed to protect the knee, start to walk the hands forward and just surrender. Again, relaxing the body. Finding that line between ease and unease. See if you can control your heart rate by slowing down your breath. Pushing the right hip into the floor. Slowly walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, push yourself up, opening up the chest. Taking a deep breath in. And then tuck those back toes under, pump that heel up and bring the knee up and down a couple times. And send it back. Shift forward, lower down, upward dog, to the downward. Drop the knees, look between the hands, step or pop forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fall forward. Bring the toes to touch, feet together. Inhale, come up, chair pose. We're almost done, gaze towards the palms. Lengthening through the sides of the body. See if you can tuck that tailbone in, squeeze the abs, sit down a little bit lower. Control the breath. Keep gazing up and towards the hands. 
and start to sit lower and lower and lower until you can't go anymore. Keep going. Keep controlling that breath. Lower and then sit down on your butt. Lift up into a boat pose. So feet up. You can either extend the legs out or keep the legs like this. But wherever you are, just try to have kind of the V position between the thighs and the torso. Arms up for five, four, three, two, and one. Shift forward, cross your legs, lift your butt up for a second, roll back into the boat pose. Maybe this time you extend the legs a little bit more for five, four, Three, two, and one. Cross the legs, opposite foot in front this time. Lift up, roll back. Last one. Here we go. Extend the legs as much as you can this time. Lift the heels up to the sky for five. Lift up the heart. Four, three, two, and one. Cross the legs, roll forward, send it back. High plank. Lower down, upward dog, downward dog. Drop the knees up between the hands, step or hop forward to a seated position. Send the legs out in front of you, untuck the flesh from beneath your sit bones, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale, fold forward. Wherever you are, maybe you grab onto the shins, the big toes, the outside of the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fall forward, leading with the chest. Open up the arm bones. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And just surrender. On your next inhale, come up, bring the hands about a foot behind you, press down, lift up through the hips, push the feet into the floor for reverse plank, opening up the height with the head, fall back, engage everything in your body. And release that. Lay onto your back. Palms facing down, and just lift the hips up into the sky. Maybe this is enough. This is enough, just stay here, but you're not pushed down. Lift up to shoulder stand. So try to make one straight line between, from your hips to your feet, and your shoulders. So bend the knees, bring the knees into your forehead. Walk your hands further up your back, and then extend one more time. Breathe deep. Feel the belly rise and fall. Push the chin into the base of the throat. Giving the cardiovascular system a little break here. And these are versions. Keeping the legs straight, slowly start to lower them down overhead for a plow pose. If your feet don't touch the floor yet, keep supporting your back. But if they do touch the floor, you can interlace the hands behind the back and push them. Wherever you are, breathe for three more breaths. And then lower down slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Bringing the heels really close into the butt. Either interlace the hands under the back or grab onto the ankles. Lift up to half bridge. Pushing the chin into the base of the throat. Opening up the heart as much as you can. 
Imagine there's a block between your thighs and you're trying to squeeze that block with your thighs. Engaging the legs even more, push the chin into the base of the, of the throat. Lift that heart up, try to roll your shoulders underneath you to open the heart even more. And then relax down. One more. You can either take another half bridge or take a full wheel, if that's in your practice. But in this video, we'll do the half bridge. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And inhale, come back up. Opening up even more for a deeper back bend. And release. Let the knees drop from side to side. And just a windshield wiper. Feel that lower back. Send the legs out in front of you. Palms facing down directly under your glutes. The fingertips are on the top of the back of the thigh. Tuck the elbows in as close as you can. And then open up the heart with the head fall back for fish pose. Letting the belly rise and fall as you breathe. Lightly, barely resting the crown of the head on the floor. We're going to take three deep breaths. So deep inhale. Open your mouth, stick your tongue out, exhale. Two more like that. Inhale. Last one. Exhale all that in. Stick your tongue out. And release down. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll side to side. Drop the knees to the left side. Open that right arm up. Look. look towards that right hand. Nice, easy spinal twist. Keep that right shoulder on the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take it to the other side. Breathing deep. Inhale back to center. Open up the legs. Grab the outsides of the feet, the knees on the outside of the elbows. And just roll side to side. Massage the lower back. Untuck the tailbone. Happy baby pose. Just close your eyes and roll back and forth. Lift the left and right corners of your mouth and smile. And just pretend you're a baby again. And then hug your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to your knees. Take a deep inhale. Take one more sip of air. Hold it. One more sip of air. Hold it. Squeeze everything. Squeeze everything. And exhale, relax. Bring the heels to the corner of the mat, palms facing up for Shavasana. Final resting pose. And the only thing that you have to do here is surrender. Feel your body melt into the floor. And just be. Try to fight the urge to fidget or move around and just be. Just stay here for a couple minutes. Just relax.
yourself to be fully present in this moment. Slowly start to bring your awareness back into your breath. 
deepening the inhale and lengthening the exhale. Bringing yourself back into the physical body. Maybe you start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Feeling how just by you willing it, it happens. Something that sometimes we take for granted. Having an open, balanced body. Maybe start to make little circles with the wrists and ankles. Start moving the knees side to side. Shaking the head yes and no. Making little circles. And then roll over onto your right side, using your right hand as a pillow, coming into a fetal position. With the left hand on the floor. And just feel the ground beneath you. And just give thanks. Slowly starting to make your way up to a comfortable seated position with your eyes closed. And once you find that seated position, feel your spine nice and long, shoulders relaxed and away from the ears. And just take note of this inner landscape, of this space that you've created for yourself. How the waters of the mind have come to a still. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth. One more. On your next inhale, bring the hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale, feel the chest rise, and then keep the chest up there, and now just let the belly breathe. Keeping the hands in prayer, spine long, chest open. We're gonna end the class with one sound of OM. Deep breath in. Bring the hands up into the forehead, the third eye. And just now, repeat to yourself in your head, as I say it, say it to yourself. Telling yourself, thank you, I love you, thank you, I love you, thank you, I love you. You don't see any sensations that arise in your body. The light within me honors and loves the light within you. Namaste. Thank you guys for sharing your practice with me. Keep going strong. We got this. Thank you guys. Hope everyone has a nice day.